Yo, what is going on guys? Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys an unboxing of a brand new pair of Nike React sneakers that drops today. You guys can check the link in the description. Shout out to Hibbit Sports for sponsoring this video. But Hibbit Sports also did send some apparel that I wanted to show you guys as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. First things first, the shoes. We have, as I mentioned, the Nike Odyssey React. It is $120. And this might be the best pair of Nikes for the $120 price point that you can spend. So here is a look at the sneakers, and this is the Habanero red colorway of the Nike Odyssey React. As you can see on the back, it does say Odyssey React, and it features a full-length React midsole that is pretty comparable to the Nike Epic React. And if you guys want to see a very detailed comparison between this shoe and the Nike Epic React, leave a comment in the comment section and give this video a thumbs up and I will do that very, very soon. But basically, this is like a budget-friendly version of the Epic React, but you get all the benefits of the Epic React with the full-length React midsole. The Epic React only had traction patterns on the heel and the toe. This one has a little bit of reinforcement in the ball area of the foot. So I think that is a really big plus. It does have a mesh upper, and it has a neoprene attached tongue, and then you have extra padding around the collar of the shoe, and then it has a little bit of a reinforced heel cage on the back and then a Nike swoosh branding on both sides of the shoe you also do get the support plate that says Nike react but on this side of the shoe you could see that it actually is a little bit more pronounced my overall first impressions about this shoe though is it's really good for hundred and twenty dollars you still have the same benefits of the Nike react material that was so great on the epic react and it has the added traction on the bottom which the Epic React didn't have. There's a ton of cushioning on the Odyssey React and it does really feel very similar to the Epic React. You don't feel like any loss of cushioning because it has the added reinforcement. You don't have flying it on the upper, but for those people that don't really like the ultra snug fit of the Epic React, this is a great alternative to that. Because of the attached neoprene tongue, it still does feel pretty snug on your foot and you don't really even need the laces. I do like that you have more of a traditional padded collar on the back section instead of just the fly knit. I think the overall design in the shoe looks nice and the price point at $120 is the best thing to me. I think that that is really a budget friendly option for people that maybe didn't want to spend $150 on the other shoe and I highly recommend you giving this one a try if you want to try the new Nike React technology, which I definitely think is worth giving a try on your feet. The other thing I wanted to show you guys is the rest of the outfit that they ended up sending from Hibbit Sports. First things first, they ended up sending this Nike t-shirt, which I really like. It says, just don't quit. And then it just says, just do it, obviously, as well. I thought this was a pretty clever shirt and I like the logo. The next thing they ended up sending was this awesome jacket, which is a Nike Windrunner. I have a couple Windrunners already, but this one is a great combination of white, black, and gray which can pretty much just go with anything. And it has that classic V look across the chest with that Nike logo. And the last thing that they ended up sending was a slim fit pair of tech fleece. As you can see, part of the tech pack. Retail on tech fleece is $100. And tech fleece pants for me have just been a staple in my collection for the last handful of years. I feel like you always need at least one colorway of tech fleece pants. And this is a great colorway of black and gray. So the combination between the tech fleece pants, the Windrunner hoodie, and the t-shirt, I think is a great combination along with the Nike Odyssey running shoes. If you guys wanna go shopping to Hibbit's website, I highly recommend you guys going and checking the link in the description, take you over and see what they have available. They have a lot of apparel, as you can see here, but they also have the latest and greatest sneaker releases on their release calendar that they keep up to date every week. Hibbit Sports also offers a reward program for your purchases, which is really great because it gives you a kickback of some of the money that you're probably already spending anyway, and so you might as well just save a little bit with a reward program. Anyways, to close out the video, if you guys wanna buy the Odyssey React, check the link in the description. I personally think that this is a great pair of sneakers, especially for the $120 price point. You'll get a great deal of comfort for the $120, and it's worth giving it a try, in my opinion. They have a bunch of different colorways that are releasing for men and women. And if you like the Epic React, there's a really strong chance that you're gonna like this Odyssey React. And if you haven't tried the Epic React and you don't like the flying it upper on that, then this is a great alternative to that. Once again, if you guys wanna see a comparison between this and the Epic React, leave a comment in the comment section. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the content and subscribe if you guys are new to the sneaker channel. I appreciate you guys for checking out the video and we'll catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace guys.